name is Roy Hanks, I'm a general surgeon uh, specializing in robotic surgery at McLaren Macomb. The gallbladder is a small uh, bag that sits underneath the liver. It's usually about the size of two of your thumbs together. It's a storage compartment for bile and it, it takes the bile, concentrates it, and then helps it to mix with your food when you, when you eat so you can digest it properly. Two typical indications for removing the gallbladder. The first being gallstones, but the number two indication is actually a disease called, it's called acalculus cholecystitis. Acalculus means no stones, without stones. Cholecystitis means an inflammation of the gallbladder. So it's inflammation of the gallbladder, gallbladder that occurs without the presence of gallstones. Now, regardless of whether you have this acalculus cholecystitis or if you have gallstones, the symptoms typically are the same, which is right upper abdominal pain, usually brought on after eating is most common. Uh, it's more common in its early stages with eating fattier foods. It may cause nausea along with it. Some people get diarrhea along with it as well. But the classic symptom is right upper abdominal pain after eating. A lot of times that pain will bring the person into the emergency room. I mean, it's, it's pretty severe pain. Um, some of the, this acalculus cholecystitis, the non-gallstone pain, sometimes can be less, not quite as severe. But typically, they call it a gallbladder attack for a reason. It's pretty horrendous pain. It hurts like heck. Pain right here, it often drives straight through to your back or shoulder and people end up in the ER thinking they're having a heart attack frequently. It's, it's unrelenting. So to talk about single site, you kind of have to rewind about 25 years or so, 20 years or so. Pretty much all gallbladders in, in the United States were removed through a pretty good size incision in the upper abdomen on the right side, kind of running along lines with the ribs along that side. Pretty good size incision, about that big. It's, they're typically with that, what we would refer to as open surgery, traditional surgery. It's a significant hospital stay and a long recovery. So laparoscopy then uh, exploded through the 90s and uh, on into 2000. And now when surgeons were trained with laparoscopy, they could actually do the surgery quicker, safer, with faster recovery, obviously much smaller incisions. You're talking about four incisions that are about uh, 12 to, uh, the one in the belly button was about 15 millimeters in size. So, you know, you're talking a little bitty incision. And, and then the, the other three, they're a total of four incisions with regular laparoscopy. In the early 2000, uh, as technology got better and most importantly, video technology got better, we were able to make those cameras that laparoscopy is all about putting a camera inside the abdomen. And so now, uh, you know, the early cameras were good, but they weren't great. HD technology now that's, that we're able to use with laparoscopy has, has moved it now to a next level. Robotics was able to take that little incision, put those instruments in, put in the most highest, the highest resolution camera with 3D technology so that when I sit down at the console, when I move my hand forward, it moves forward. When I move it back, it moves back. If I, if I twist like this, it twists like that. So the computer technology and ro robotics allows the uh, switch of all that visuals so that it becomes intuitive. And as the surgeon with robotics, I control the camera through a series of foot pedals now I can move that camera. I'm not relying on someone else who's have to, you know, leaning back and trying not to get in my way and is bobbling all over the place as I'm watching this camera bounce all over. I'm in control of that. So you have high definition visuals, I have intuitive movements, and I can do it all through a two and a half centimeter incision. If you're talking an incision that big, that used to be that big, I can do it all through an incision that big. It's an unbelievable difference, unbelievable difference. I think there's enough benefit through the single incision that I, I, I approach it that everybody's a candidate unless there's something about them that would say they weren't. Everyone has the option for, in, for 
of those three procedures, the open with the bigger incision, laparoscopic with multiple ports, four ports, or single incision, everybody is a candidate for whatever, whichever one they would choose. Quite honestly, the only difference on the inside is what you see on the outside, how many incisions you have. It doesn't mean the multi-port laparoscopy uh, is a bad option. It's still a great option. It's a, got a proven track record, the old style four incision laparoscopy. It's a good surgery. It's, it's got a, a good track record. It's a safe surgery. But I can do that same thing and make your tummy look prettier in the end. I th think with any uh, major abdominal surgery, you're looking at six weeks recovery. Before, I would tell you that, listen, you can do anything you want, you're looking at six weeks. If you have a desk job, you can go back to work when you feel like it. Most people, that's about five to 10 days, and it doesn't matter whether it's single incision or multi-port. Open surgery, different story. Probably not gonna feel like going back to work for at least three weeks, maybe a month. Even if you got a desk job, most people just, it hurts. It's that, that upper abdominal incision, it's big and it hurts. What we're seeing with robotics right now is just the beginning. It, I think this technology has incredible benefit to patients. It requires training and it is just a tool. Again, it's not gonna make an average surgeon good, but it can take and make a good surgery phenomenal by just these teeny little incisions. And I, I think the future is pretty, pretty exciting in what's gonna be coming out there.